Brothers and sisters, put your hands together for Apocalypse. Here we go. Another day from the desk of Apocalypse. <laughs> We're away from the desk, right? We had some technical difficulties this morning, right? But what we were talking about is traditional paralysis. And um, what I pretty much spoke of this morning, I remember Reverend Wilson used to uh, tell a story about a man whose wife used to cut off both sides of the meat before she cooked it. And he wondered like why she did this. And like, and, you know, cause you're cutting off some good meat. You know what I mean? You're wasting money right there. So he asked her one day, why do you cut off both sides of the meat? And um, she said, well, you know, my mother used to do this. He's like, oh, okay. So he got a chance to ask her mother, you know, your daughter, when she cooked this meat, you know, this roast, <laughs> she cuts off both sides and she says she got it from you. Um, any particular reason why you cut off both sides of the meat? And of course, she said, well, you know, I got it from my mother. Mm. So mom, her mother, they're way down south, so they got a chance to visit her mom. So it's grandma now. Mother, uh, your daughter and your daughter's daughter, my wife, <laughs> when they cook their meat, they cut both ends off. And they both seem to have gotten this from you. So, could you tell me why <laughs> you cut both uh, sides of the meat off? So she hobbled over to the cupboard, opened it up, pantry, you know what I mean? And pulled out a pot. So you see this pot? <laughs> I never had a pot big enough for, for the meat. That's why I cut both my ends off. I don't know why <laughs> they cut theirs off. So anyway, traditional paralysis. Why do we do the things that we do the way that we do them? Hmm? <laughs> Why is this? You know, for instance, I was on the block, man, for 15 years straight. You know what I mean? And through that time, like with the final cause, the bean pies and back home, the incense, the oils, things of that nature, right? And um, I would flee to a job here and there, but I would end up right back on that block, you know? <laughs> And I got bunions to prove it. You know, I will show you my bunions, but my wife won't let me. <laughs> so, um, which, you know, that's where my that's where my mind was free. That's where uh, my mind could flow and think on things, you know, to do to evolve to the next level and things of that nature. So, uh, you know, I knew that it was inevitable that we would evolve, you know, at some point. But, you know, when we get comfortable doing things a certain way, you know, we end up getting stuck in those traditions. And a lot of times that paralyzes us, you know what I mean? To the point where we won't even think to do something different or do it another way. You know what I'm saying? So, hey man, sometimes we have to learn how to break tradition, you know? We have to learn how to break tradition, man, and move to another level. So, that's pretty much what, what we attempted to speak on this morning from the desk of Apocalypse. Traditional paralysis, man. Let's break that chain, man. Enjoy your day.